test one two three oh my my what a day okay i'm just trying to hone in here where i stand how are we doing on a monday it's been a crazy day dgr how are we doing out there yes indeed whoa i can't believe i'm live frankly and yes i'm going live early actually i'm going live late and early all at the same time i was gonna go live this morning but things got thrown for a loop today so we had to pivot uh as always happens in life right it's all about the the art of the pivot i hope you're having a great monday thanks for tuning in realize and actually if you could if you could oh and can you hear me let me know um the mic sounds a little a little off today but anyway you just let me know if you can hear me bottom line is it depends on where i stand Ooh, that sounds better right there um if you could hit that like button, I'd appreciate it. Let the rest of DGR know that we are live. Basically, my battery died. That's what happened. I was trying to think what happened today. Also, I didn't sleep last night. So, I didn't sleep. My battery died this morning in my car. So, it's just been a crazy day. So, I was going to go live this morning. Had to pivot uh, to this afternoon. And now, I'm pivoting again to our kind of regular time around 2 o'clock. So, I love you all. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hitting that like button. Yes, let us know where you're watching from in the chat, if you could. I believe I saw uh, already from Latvia. I do believe, I do believe. Let's get global going in the live stream, okay? DGR. Oh, man, and cheers. I don't know what happened. I'm just I'm just riffing with you guys. I got, I, I, <laughs> I had a great long run yesterday, 20 miles. Um, about six ten a mile with some pretty good vertical but sometimes when I have a good hard effort my legs were a almost it's interesting your legs almost hurt so much it wasn't horrible but they it almost keeps you up I don't know if you've had that before where you're in pain and it kind of distracts you also I'm thinking about a lot of things with DGR right now so it just um, it kept me up and I didn't sleep last night and um, and um, and what else? Uh, that was that. Oh, yeah. And then the car battery died. So, but we're here now. Good to see you. Little butt of my bread on a Monday. And yes, it is a Monday mailbag. So sorry about the title if it's throwing you off. That's why it says Monday morning mailbag. It is not Monday morning. It is Monday afternoon, at least where I am at. And yes, if you have any questions over in Discord, you guys know what to do. Um, thank you for the, uh, thoughts there. Mm -hmm -hmm. Thank you, Christopher. Oh yeah. First on the screen, it's Christopher. Looked rapid that run on Strava. Yes, indeed. Ultra dad's here. Come on. Let's get some folks in the house. I appreciate it. That running guy. So we're at the top of the roller coaster and that's it. 130 miles coming down. We're coming down. I'm very excited. 120 miles this week. Cut 10 off. So I'm excited about that. What's going on, South Jersey? Ronnie is here. Ronnie, or is it Ronnie? It must be Ronnie. Uh, how are you doing? Hello from Kansas City. Oh boy, I can't say I can't say the end of that, Paul. But I hello to you back in Kansas City. Dan is here. What's up, Dan? Atlanta's in the house. Dallas, nice, nice, nice. Okay, let me just take a sip. It is a Monday mailbag. And uh, so we need to open some packages. I'm sorry if I'm missing some comments here. Um, what's up? There he is. Wanted to get Aaron on the screen. Okay. Mm. So I don't want to forget about emails. Remember, you guys send me emails, info at demoreglobalrunning.com. And I will, if you want to share your story with the rest of DGR, Info at demoreglobalrunning.com about an inspiring story that connects to running, connects to your running journey, connects to a recent race you just did. Send it, uh, type it up and send it to me, info at demoreglobalrunning.com. Um, also, let me just think here. So I want to read one. Peter, here we go. Thank you, Peter from Boise. He says, I'm 66 and running usually six miles three times a week in the foothills around Boise. I ran competitively during high school and college and then was mostly off for the next 35 years. Probably because you were 
had a career and I don't know if you're married and had a fan, but it's like life gets busy. I get it, man. I get it. But got back into running in my late fifties. I've tried to stay consistent for the last seven years. In June, I ran a 538, 1500 meters. So that's awesome, man. So for my age, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and then he brings up a thank you, Peter, for noticing this. And uh, I'll just read it. He says, I've been noticing on your website that the latest shoe reviews hasn't been updated for a while. thought you'd like to know. Keep up the good work. I tune into you YouTube video posts regularly. They are useful. Thank you, Peter. So thank you, Peter, for bringing that to all of our attention. If you guys have not been to the website in a little while, you will notice that uh, it needs updating. But guess what? It's a volunteer, a vlog fan. Um, you know who you are, who has been very, 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 very generous in building the website for us. It's just a work in progress and, um, he's just volunteering his time. So that's why it's not updated regularly at this point. Someday we've got big, 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 big dreams for the website, but right now it is not being updated incredibly regularly okay what's good oliver a lot is good life is good what's up tommy good to see you oh tommy oh man i think from detroit is that right tommy good to see you it's been a while scott's here what's going uh going down geert is here good evening good evening upstate new york always tuning in and i realize i'm going live a little early today um yeah, I'm just going live early, so thanks for tuning in is the bottom line. Okay, here we go. Let's open up some packages. I've got a very interesting one. Let me just take one more sip here. Mm-hmm. So, whenever a package arrives that is not in the shape of a shoebox, it's very interesting to me. Okay, so there you go. I don't know, and it's from Montana. I don't know if I've ever received anything from Montana. And, uh, okay, that's good. Good to know, Tommy. Um, okay. And then MC's tuning in from Baton Rouge. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, and let me just make sure really quickly here. You know, I'm a little off my A game today. I just be, I just calling myself out. I want to make sure I'm not missing any super chats or anything. Okay, we're good to go there. Um, and let me just take this down okay here we go i've got a i've got a well there it is okay oh. how's, how's your monday how was your run dg how's your weekend hope you had a good weekend okay let's go let's go any guesses what's in this strange shaped package okay from montana let's see whoa oh whoa Whoa, let's see. Oh, 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 hello. Whoa, I don't think I, I did not order this. Okay, a foam roller. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie, woogie. There you go. Thank you. I appreciate it. I think it's a company called Flare Smart Mobility Device. Okay, it's a, it's a foam roller. All right, well. I might use it, but I might give it away. We'll see. All right, because I've got a lot of foam rollers. So there it is. Maybe we'll maybe maybe we'll give this away at some point. But thank you, Flair. It's I think the company might be called Sidekick. I'm not exactly sure. So oh, appreciate it. Thank you so so much, Flair. Smart mobility device. Does anybody out there use an electric foam roller consistently? Oh man. Okay. Oh, moving on. This this is a funny 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 package. I sent these, remember SOS, sharing our shoes, okay? We used to do that here on the channel. We had to stop because shipping costs got so much. Like this this, this pair of shoes, $25 to try to, go to, to try to go to Brazil. And guess what? Two years later, they're back. They showed back up in P, at the P.O. box. So I sent these to Brazil. Obviously, something happened. I don't know if I messed up. The address, I'm not sure. Maybe the person moved. I don't know. Okay, here we go. So let's just see what we sent away. So these were... Oh, my, my. Whoa, a 361 shoe. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. So somebody did not get their shoes in Brazil. I'm sorry. If, this is, if these were meant to go to you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll give those away someday. Oh, my goodness. Okay, moving on. Here, um, yeah. 
We'll do this. We'll do this. Uh huh. Here we go. Onward and upward. Okay. This is from, I believe, the East Harlem United Runners. Okay. Uh huh. He's. They're always. They're always sending me stuff. You guys. You guys rock, Edgar. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my goodness. You guys rock. Um, it says on the note here, thank you, Seth, for the love and support. We love you and God bless you from Edgar United. We run together. So that's awesome. Thank you, Edgar. Oh my goodness. Holy smokes. You guys always dropping good merch for me. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, cool. Very cool. And then this one, very, very cool. Appreciate it, Edgar. All right, here we go. Got a lot of packages today, so I got to rock and roll. Here we go. Uh-huh. This one I'm actually very interested in. It's arriving from Denmark, okay? Rake, okay? Rake, anybody recognize that company? Their website's pretty interesting. Um, okay, let's just see here. I see a question coming in over on Discord about how many packages arrive on a weekly basis. And I would say it's... Um, it's probably one a day. It's probably about seven and nah, five to seven. I'll go five to seven. That's from H Town Q. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh my goodness, it comes in. It comes in spurts. That's for sure. Okay. Whoa. So this. Oh man, look at that box. That's cool. It's got a runner inside there. So this is an outerwear company called Rake. Hopefully I'm saying that right. They're out of Denmark, I do believe. Who has worn Rake? Let us know in the chat, okay? Whoa. Oh, my goodness. I think it's high-end, like high-end outerwear, like nice, nice stuff. You know, I don't think they give it away um, is what I'm trying to say here. Okay, so we got socks. Thank you for the socks. I will keep a pair, and I'll give the rest away because – I am drowning in running socks. I appreciate it. Okay, here we go. Let's put those down there. Okay, oh my, my, whoa. Oh my, whoa. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. I'm actually going to do, I might do, I might even, well, no, I'll test this gear out first from Rake, but I am so overdue for, it's probably going to be an hour-long vlog where I just, I just sit down and I just talk to all of you about the outerwear I've been testing over the past, let's just call it six months. There's been some companies that have sent me some items that are incredible, really nice, like the best outerwear I've ever worn, you know, like Sidon. Who's ever heard of them? Sidon, okay? They're, it's basically my favorite running um, jacket right now, Sidon, S-E-A-D-O-N. Now this new company, Rake, R-O-C-K. R O C K A Y. All right. So, holy smokes. Okay. Let's just ugh, throw that over there. All right. Let's open up. You know, I can't, I don't want you guys to fall asleep, but let's open up one here. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. See. Wow. Whoa. Oh, my, my. Wow. I can just, whoa. That's nice. Immediately, it's reminding me of, um, it's reminding me of, it's reminding me of sore. Okay, the sore singlets that I've been, I've been wearing over the past nine months. Sore, it's also reminding me a little bit of like Lululemon type quality as far as just to the touch, to the feel. Wow, very, very, very nice. Thank you so much, Rake. I can't, all right, one more, one more. I can't open it. Oh my goodness, I can't open it all up. Compression running socks, okay, cool. This is a jacket. Okay. Man. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Okay. Immediately, I like it, but I got to say, I'm not, I'm pretty particular about hoods. Who likes a good hood on their running jackets? I love a good hood. I just, it's hard for me to get too excited about a running jacket or a running windbreaker that does not have a hood built in. Am I crazy? You guys let me know in the chat. Do you prefer hoods, no hoods? I just, I don't know. If I, I'd rather have a hood almost at all times. 
Um, in the winter, in the winter, in the winter. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you, Raquel. All right, we're gonna throw. Sorry, I can't. I can't open it all. Okay, here's our notes here. Okay, hold on. Okay, here we go. Um, this is coming from somewhere outside the country, and then I'm gonna get to some questions. Actually, um, I run over mountains over on Discord, Aaron. I must connect with East Harlem runners when I'm in Manhattan. That's right. Sounds like you are arriving very soon uh, in the Big Apple. Very exciting. Devin is saying, would you be interested in testing out a car who shoe if I sent one over? It's a Finnish brand only recently made available in the U.S. I'd love to hear your thoughts. They're very research-based and partnered with Fleet Feet to use their Fit ID tech. I'd be happy to. I've heard of them before, but I've never tested them, Devin. Absolutely. I'm... Beholden to no one, so I'll test anyone. I'll test any shoe. You guys know that. You know that. 150 people tuning in on a Monday. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, man. Okay. Here we go. Oh, man. Seth and family. This is like a personal card. Okay. Whoa. Okay, let's just hold on. See, this is actually gets me more excited than... <laughs> than outerwear i gotta say oh it's a christmas sorry if i'm so uh sorry if i'm so behind it's a christmas card from dgr thank you dgr um so from stewart this is great thank you stewart i will read it with um oh man maybe i should read some of it i don't think it's anything he says hey seth i thought your boys might like a moment of your team's tr- a uh, memento of your team's trip over the hills to manchester in the home of the champions this week uh, not the result leads we're looking for. I think they lost to City, Manchester City 7-0, but not the end of the world. Once they get a few more players back, they'll be back on track onwards and upwards, and thank you for doing what you do. Stuart, you rock, sir. That that just makes me so happy. So, oh, man. This, so as you guys know, like my boys and I, we've been trying to get into um, soccer, a.k.a. football and the rest of the world. So we've been following a lot of teams. Um Leverkusen in the Bundesliga. We've been following following Ibar in the uh, La Liga. We've been following uh, Tor- Torin, T- uh, Turin, um, all these names, Turin in uh, the uh, Serie A, and then Leeds over in the Premier League. So, um, so this is like a. It looks like um, oh, this is cool. Oh, it's like a pan- It's like a booklet for the game. That is cool. So, very, very cool. Stuart, these are going to be great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, here we go. Um, Let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Actually, you know what? I'm going to wait on these. I'm going to wait on these, okay? I know. I know what's in there. This, oh, my goodness. Alex, are you in the house? Alex, you got to let us know. Alex, are you here? Um... Alex, are you in the house? Oh, Dermot, thank you for being a member of the channel for eight months now. Do appreciate your support of the channel in that way. Um, is Alex here? Alex, raise your hand if you're watching. Um, you guys know Alex over in Discord. Come on now. Come on now. You guys are going to love this. This is from a vlog fan. So you, what, did I, what did I want for Christmas? Does anybody remember? Who can get it first? What was the one present I wanted for Christmas? If you are really, really on the vlog ball, who's going to get it first? Who's going to get it first? Come on, come on, come on. Uh Uh-huh. I'm not going to show you until until we get a good guess here. Mm -hmm Mm-hmm. Do-do-do, do-do-do. Do-do-do, do-do-do. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, uh-oh. Where, where, where are we at here? Where are we at here? Come on. Um, I'll give a shout out to Jason. Thank you, Jason, for being in here. I appreciate it, Jason, up in Canada. Canada. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I knew I knew you'd get it. I knew you'd get it. There it is. Dejan is the first. Uh there it is. Waffle maker. So as soon as um as soon as the Canadians, the Canucks, heard that I was making waffles and using, like, I'll just say, like, I don't even, I don't, the great value brand syrup, that was not gonna, that was not gonna fly with DGR. So here we go. Oh man, 
Oh, whoa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, so she sent real maple syrup. <clears throat> real maple syrup here. Not messing around. Alex, thank you for your patience. I know you are the best. You are the best. We're going to have real maple syrup this Saturday. That is awesome. Thank you, Alex. You know who you are. Oh my goodness, that is epic. Okay, and and a card. Oh, Alex, thank you so, so much. You rock onward and upward. Okay. Oh, she might even... What is this? Oh, nice. That's fun. She that's a, she she made us fudge. She made fudge. That's a, that's amazing. Okay. So good. All right, everybody. Um, that is the Monday mailbag. We'll hang out for a little bit more. It's been a crazy day, as I said earlier. Um, what happened today? Oh, yeah. I didn't sleep last night, and then my car battery died today. So it's just been an exciting day. You know, it's the art of the pivot. Isn't that the, uh, that's the, that's the art of living is, uh, just being, being flexible. But before we, uh, let's get some questions going. Okay. What questions do you all have? I'll jump into the chat, try and get to as many as possible. Um, <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, huh. Antoinetta. Wait, aren't you, you're in over in Italy though. Ah, uh, what do you, I, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Okay. Come on now. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Man. Mm, okay, just looking for some questions here. Let's see. Jared says, must have been a snowy run, nice and slow. Are you talking about my run today, Jared? No, I'm recovering, Jared. I'm recovering. Yesterday was pretty epic. Um, ben is saying, running everything tastes better in Canada. Oh, man. I've only been to Canada once. So uh, I, I look forward to going back someday. <clears throat> onward, onward, onward. Okay, I'm just trying to find. Okay, Ken, Ken is here. I very seldom use the hood, only in the pouring rain. There you go, Ken. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> you know, that's a good question, David. Here we go. Does the durometer of a shoe change over time slash miles put in it? If so, this could go into the durability predictions for 50-mile reviews. Now that you have the right meter, it could, you know, I don't have enough experience. Um, my gut tells me that it should not because what it's doing is it's how it measures. It's actually right here. You know, it's got this little, it's got this little point on the end. And so my gut tells me that they does, that it should not change over time, but cause it's the actual, uh, it's going like inside the foam rather than just staying like on the surface. But that's a good question, David. We'll just keep testing and, uh, you know, honing in the numbers uh, with this guy. And actually, on that note, would you be interested in a hour-long live stream where I basically do the durometer for old shoes? Like, you know, actually, oh, somebody on Discord was asking me to do Light Strike Pro versus Light Strike. Hold on. See, this is the Takumi Sen 8. I don't have it. I don't think I have any Light Strike, but here's here's Light Strike Pro. Also, I keep repeating myself just so everybody's in the same loop. In an ideal world, David, I would cut this sh every shoe in in half because to get an really really accurate, you want to get the foam that's on the inside of the of the midsole i can't cut open every shoe so you just you know i've read anyway i've read books about that so this is saying 30 33 okay so um yeah 33 there you go that probably doesn't mean too too much to everybody yet but over time we will continue to dial in those numbers okay okay here we go, David. Good question, as always. Ultra Dad, love hoods. Perfect for before and after the run when it's super cold. Yeah, man. You know, the combination of a buff that you wear in an awkward way and you, you get weird looks plus a hood, it's basically perfect unless it's like below 20 degrees for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh man, Cheryl. I mean, Cheryl, Cheryl. It's um, 
<laughs> there's different types of testers. I'll just put it that way. And uh, I had the wrong one. Um, and listen, Cheryl, you can buy durometer testers that have um, that are hundreds of dollars. I don't have that kind of money right now. I'll probably invest in one eventually. This is not a like a high end one, but it will be interesting, Cheryl, to buy the high end one eventually and then compare it to this one. You know what I mean? So, but it is designed for foam, uh, the one that I have, okay? Specifically, uh, shoe foam, okay, okay. Oh, mama, let's see. Here we go, a little super chat. Thank you, Aaron, for chiming in. Here we go. Aaron says, it's always good to chew the fat the chew the fat on the year ahead. What are your tune-up races for the mountain races in the summer and fall? Um, that's an expression I'm not sure I fully uh, follow. And Aaron, for everybody, Aaron's from uh, is over in Northern Ireland. Although he's coming over to the states soon. Chew the fat on the year ahead. What are your tune-up races for the mountain races in the summer and fall? So as you all know. Pikes Peak, in, thank you for the super chat, Aaron. Thank you, thank you. Pikes Peak is in September this year. It's not in um, August. I plan to do Zegama, okay? Will I have a chance to do a, a tune-up race for Zegama? Probably not because races in Colorado in the mountains don't really start until June, and Zegama is in late May this year. Hopefully it happens. Um... You know, actually, there is one race. Okay, the um, Dirty 30 50K. Although this year, so they used to have a 12-mile race for the Dirty 30, which is here in Colorado. If it if they do it again this year, that would actually be a decent tune-up. And I think it's like four weeks before Zagama would happen. I would traditionally go up to Wyoming for their Rendezvous Mountain Hill Climb two weeks or three weeks before Pikes Peak, but that doesn't really make sense this year because uh, Pikes Peak has been moved to, um, has been moved to September. So, and then who knows if the World Mountain Running Championships actually takes place in Thailand this year. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. Mm. Andrew is, is translating for me. Chew the fat, chat in a leisurely and prolonged way. I like that. That's awesome. That is great. Well, hopefully we are chatting in a leisurely way here, just hanging out. Um, you know, Leo, two very different types of shoes, Rebel V2 versus Endorphin Speed 2. I would say, yeah, it, it depends on, you know, I would say the Rebel is a little more of a forefoot striking shoe versus the, if you want a little more of a heel striker, or midfoot striker, I'd go endorphin speed too. They both can go fast if you want them to, if you are ready to go fast. Um, so it's a good, yeah, they, uh, you know, and the Rebel is very is much softer um, through the midsole. So if you prefer a softer landing, but I would probably say the endorphin speed too is a little more, is more responsive. Yep. 100%. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Good to see you. Motivation theory running. Okay. Uh, let's go. Mm hmm. Thank you, Dumet, for being a member of the channel. Uh, let's see if we can get on screen. Um, RC Elite or Vaporfly for Rotterdam Seth. I don't have the RCs, but love the New Balance Fuel Cell. Have the Vaporfly, but feel a bit harsh on my foot. Um, I mean, I would say that the um, Vaporfly has more response. I'd say the RC has more, actually just like the Rebel, it's softer. So if you want a little more forgiveness under step, if you're not quite used to the marathon distance and you want to, you know, say, I would say, you know, save your legs a little bit on race day, I would probably go RC if that makes sense, okay? But not, it's almost a little too soft for my liking for racing. For training, beautiful, beautiful. Here we go, here we go. Onward and upward. Um, oh, Mike, that is exciting. Everybody read Mike's comment. Oh, Samuel's here. Considering any other races. Um, so, um, <laughs> we're having a child this, this summer. So, 
we will not um i will not be traveling quite a, you know as much in the summertime um i do plan to go to zagama if it happens and then uh pike's peak is in september and then world mountain running championships is in november and that's plenty for me uh frankly in the, with respect to the mountain scene and then you know florida and then um rotterdam so that's it's actually a, it actually adds up very very quickly do 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 i don't know maybe someday i'll get in some spikes hello hello thanks for tuning in cabrera okay i think i'm gonna have to call it there everybody sadly i need to edit the vlog all right make sure you guys have something to tune into on a Tuesday morning at 5 a.m. All right, let's get a few more people on the screen. Ben is saying, hey, Seth, what shoes do you recommend for packed snow road running? Um, I always, you know, um, gosh, oof. Any, tra <laughs> any trail shoe. I mean, I would go trail shoe, actually. Yeah, trail shoe, trail shoe. So then it's like, well, what type of ride do you prefer in the trail scene? You know, there's just so many options. I always used to say the Evo Speed Goat, but it's not available anymore. You know what I mean? Um, Aaron, I know. I know. I don't know, Aaron. It's it's unlikely. I know I said I was going to go back, but we didn't know that there was a another Demore Demarrier showing up on the scene in 2022. So I would like to go to UTMB again or to Chamonix. But uh, it's it's probably not gonna happen. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it right now. It's, you know I can't I can't be uh, leaving <laughs> leaving the leaving the fam, um, especially with a newborn. Oh mama! Oh mama! Um, I am not a fan only because I train by feel. Today, send send DS. Yes. Um, I ran nine thirty a mile. It was. Mwah. It was beautiful because yesterday I did 20 miles at 608 a mile. Okay. So I it was a lot of vertical. So my legs are like, uh uh. So I don't know. I, I just, uh, it's just part of my upbringing in college and high schools because we didn't have that technology when I was growing up. So my coaches just always emphasized to train by feel rather than what the watch is saying. That's the only reason. I've got nothing against training by power. If that helps you, great. But for me, that's the only reason I don't do it. I've got nothing against. Um, I've got nothing against it. Oh, uh, you guys are laughing in the chat. Uh oh, did I miss something? Uh oh, uh oh. Um, would you run uh, your next marathon without carbon fiber plated shoes to get a true measure of fitness talent? Um, I don't know, like. I don't know if it's fitness talent, but more like a time. I think obviously times have moved on and you're, you know, you can't stop progress. Um, Alex, if you're watching Alex, we opened the maple syrup. Finally. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you for sending it. Uh, thank you for your patience, but you know, we're in you, progress. You can't stop progress. So technology. Yeah. You just can't stop it. It's, I am glad, though, that they've put restrictions on it. You know, 40 millimeters, plenty. 50 millimeters in the Primex, no, 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 no. It's, it's way too much, just so everybody knows. It's just not not happening. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, I'll just tell you right now, and we might have to wrap on this one, Cyrus and L. Everybody... I will publish the full review of the Hoka Speed Goat 5 this week. And you're going to have to buy... I would buy two or three pairs when they become available. It's an amazing shoe. It's bouncy. It's lighter. It feels... A, it's it's quite reminiscent of the Evo Speed Goat. And um, it's going to sell out. It's going to sell out. So be ready. I think it's March... I believe it's March. I don't know the exact date. Watch out. Hoka Speedo 5 is going to sell out like that. If you want another option, though, right now, Solomon Ultra Glide would be pretty much my second favorite. 
for a daily trainer, even though that one can do some other things as well. I know, H-Town, I know. Who knows? I don't know where I'm going to be. I know. We might have to do something. I'm sure I'll show up, but I don't even know what life is going to hold at that point. All right, here we go. Signing off. Got to go at it. All right. DGR, come on. Come on. Doorknob. Seek beauty. Work hard. And love each other. All right, see you tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. Ciao.